Hello, everyone. I'm Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, and I am absolutely thrilled to be here to give you a huge congratulations to the graduation class of 2021. Graduating under normal circumstances is a commendable feat, but nothing about this past year has been normal. Despite a global pandemic, you remain focused on your studies and are now ready to embark on an exciting new chapter of life. I'm so very proud of you and your accomplishments and wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. I also wanna give a shout out to the parents. No one walks on this journey and walks across the stage to graduation without, without the support and love of a parent, a guardian, a family member, or a friend. So thanks to all of you for being there for our young people, for lifting them up when they needed encouragement, and for being with them along this journey. They'll still need you, so still be there, but thank you and celebrate this moment with them. Thanks everyone, congratulations once again. Welcome students, parents, teachers, and families to Northwest Middle School's Class of 2021 virtual graduation. Let's all take a deep breath and be present in this moment. We've made it here. You made it here today. Your families and friends made it here today. Your teachers and support staff made it here today. That in itself is an amazing accomplishment. One is that one that is unique to you and your class. Congratulations. Many people in our community were lost or impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic over the past 15 months. Therefore, we wanna take some space and honor those who could not be here with us today that are important to you and your families. This is a different world than it was when you started at Northwest. First, you were all about a foot shorter, a whole lot more nervous, and didn't know how to open a lock. Beyond that, the pandemic has taught all of us how to be persistent, resilient, and flexible. Each of these qualities are important for you to recognize in yourselves and use as you move into high school. Our young people today are more aware of the social injustices that they see around them. On top of the pandemic, you saw our society respond to the murder of George Floyd. You saw the world react and expect more for our communities. Being alive and awake at your age during this time has shaped who you are and who we are collectively. I'm so proud of you for asking questions, being critical of ideas and policies, and questioning the way things have always been. Because, let's be clear, there are many things about our society that need to be improved. And it feels good to know that you are the ones who are going to be making those big decisions and changes, and that you are the future leaders of our city and our country. Our priorities have also changed since the pandemic started. Lockdown, uncertainty, and fear have pushed us to appreciate one another more. Family, friends, and our health are all top of mind for each of us. As we all move into next year, I hope we continue to value and appreciate these things. For all of you, starting high school in August will be the first time in 17 months, 17 months that you will be in a typical school setting. This is a lot to take in. It is understandable to feel overwhelmed, nervous, and unsure about the transition to a normal year let alone after this one. It will take some getting used to, but it is so important that you jump into learning right away. The first months as ninth graders are really important for you to establish yourselves as learners in your new environments. Prepare yourselves and promise yourselves that you'll do your best and communicate when you need help. That is a skill too. This graduating class is a very special place in my heart. You have made me a better principal. You have made our school a better place. I care about each of you very much and will miss you all terribly. Please come back and show us all that you have learned and tell us all the wonderful things you were doing. I cannot wait to hear. Bienvenidos estudiantes, padres, maestros y familias a la graduación virtual de la Escuela Northwest Middle, clase 2021. Vamos a tomar un respiro profundo para estar presente en este momento. Logramos estar aquí hoy. 
tú lograste estar aquí hoy. Tu familia y amigos lograron estar aquí hoy. Tus maestros y empleados de apoyo lograron estar aquí hoy. Es en sí mismo un logro asombroso, un logro único para ti y tu clase. Felicidades. Perdimos a muchas personas de nuestra comunidad y muchos otros se vieron afectados por la pandemia del COVID-19 sobre los últimos 15 meses. Por lo tanto, queremos tomar este espacio para honrar a esas personas tan importantes para ti y tu familia que no pudieran estar con nosotros hoy en día. Este es un mundo diferente al que era cuando empezaron en la Northwest. Pero primeramente, todos eran por los menos que un pie más pequeño, mucho más nerviosos y no sabían, no sabían abrir un candado. Más allá de esto, la pandemia nos ha enseñado a todos cómo ser persistente y flexible. Es importante que rec reconozcan cada una de estas cualidades en sí mismos y que las usen al seguir adelante en la escuela superior. Nuestra gente joven hoy en día son más conscientes de las injusticias sociales que ven a su alrededor. Encima de la pandemia, vieron a su sociedad responder al asientato de George Floyd. Vieron al mundo reaccionar y esperar más de nuestras comunidades. El estar vivo y alertado a sus ed edades durante este tiempo ha, ha formado quienes son hoy y quienes somos colectiv colectivamente. Estoy tan orgulloso de ustedes por hacer preguntas, por ser críticos de las ideas y polizas cuestionado como siempre han sido dos cosas. Porque vamos a ser claro. Hay muchas cosas de nuestra sociedad que tienen que mejorar. Se siente bien saber que ustedes son los que van a estar haciendo estas grandes decisiones y cambios y que ustedes son los futuros líderes de nuestra ciudad y nuestro país. Nuestras prioridades han cambiado desde que comenzó la pandemia. El encierro la incertidumbre, incertidumbre y el miedo nos ha empujado a apreciarnos más unos a los otros. Familiares, amigos y nuestra salud son lo más importante para cada uno de nosotros. Al avanzar hacia el próximo año, espero que continuemos valorando y apreciando estas cosas. Para todos ustedes, el, com el comienzo de la Escuela Superior en agosto será el primer momento en 17 meses que estarán en un espacio escolar típico. Eso es mucho para asimilar. Es comprensible sentirse abrumado, nervioso y inseguro acerca de la transición en un año no mar normal y mucho menos después de este. Se tomará un tiempo para acostumbrarse, pero es tan importante que empiecen, empiecen a aprender de inmediato. Los primeros meses como estudiantes no, de noveno grado son realmente importantes para que se establecen como estudiantes en sus nuevos ambientes. Prepararense y prometanse que harán todo lo posible y que hablarán cuando necesitan ayuda. ayuda. Eso también es una habilidad. Esta clase gradua graduanda tiene un espacio muy especial en mi corazón. Me han hecho un mejor principal y, eh, y han hecho de nuestra escuela un lugar mejor. 
Me preocupo mucho por cada uno de ustedes y los estrenaré terriblemente. Por favor, regresen a vernos y enseñenos que lo ha aprendido y déjenos saber de todas las cosas maravillosas que están haciendo. Estoy ansiosa, ansiosa de poder escucharlo todo. Gracias. Good afternoon, Ms. Byrne, Ms. Carl, Ms. Trejo, teachers, staff, families, and friends. But most importantly, good afternoon to my classmates. My name is Brian Lopez, and it is an honor to be able to talk at our graduation. We have gone through a lot in middle school, starting from the beginning. We were all nervous coming into sixth grade, trying to figure everything out, meeting our teachers, trying to find out what class our friends were in, and also making new friends. When reflecting on my own experience, I learned that it is really important to have friends I can trust and that can make my experience feel comfortable to be myself. Those are the kind of friends I found at Northwest. As time passed, we started to get more comfortable and we had a lot of fun together. For example, the basketball game we had in sixth, in sixth grade the Panther showdown we had in seventh grade. We had open gym before school every day through sixth grade and seventh grade. We played sports together, met new people. Open gym also made me feel energized and it was overall a pleasant time we spent through these years. We had all very supportive classmates and friends too. If I were to describe this year in two words, I would say exciting and difficult. It was exciting because we we're moving on to high school going into the future and it was difficult because we were especially challenged in eighth grade with important tests, high school applications and lots of other stuff, but we made it. When thinking about the future, remember that we don't have to be perfect and wherever we go, there will be great opportunities for all of us. Also working hard pays off. Sometimes though, it is very important to take breaks and when we need to, you have to take care of yourself in order to do good. Follow your dreams and don't let anyone stop you from doing that. I want to thank those who made middle school a great experience. God, my friend, and my classmates who helped me get to this year. My teachers who were all very helpful. My family, staff, and principal who made a comfortable my environment to come to school. As I conclude and wish my classmates another congratulations, I want to leave you with this quote. To accomplish great things we must not only act but also dream not only plan but also believe and Italy, france thank you so much for giving me this honor and opportunity to celebrate our incredible eighth grade community have a wonderful day good afternoon administration faculty and staff family and classmates my name is christian pelayo and i am your 2021 villa victorian this has been an amazing journey filled with joyful memories and stressful times as well. When I look back, I think about the time I spent with my friends watching the Panther Showdown, learning music in Mr. Reyes's class, learning about math and science, uh, and our class playing pranks on Ryan more than we should have. However, not every moment was fun. Some of it was stressful, such as writing an ELA class or having to come up with a project for a science fair or that time we spent a year learning from our homes in our pajamas. We made it through one of the most stressful times in history. We didn't get to spend as much time with our friends during school hours, and we had to prepare areas in our home to focus on school and deal with our exhausted internet and routers who, had to, who wanted to collapse from being used on a daily basis. In some ways, it was easier. We had to stay home during winter when it was cold, we, gotta pay, we had to pay better attention because we had to take better responsibility for our education there was a Mexican proverb. They tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. The pandemic is what tried to bury us, but we started through our effort, and here we are today graduating. As we move on to the next stage of our lives, remember, no matter what tries to bury you, through sheer effort and motivation, you shall succeed. I am here to congratulate you all for graduating today. Thank you. Hi, graduating class of 2021. Hi everybody, 101, 201 are our, our groups. I just want to say a quick uh, little thing. Uh, you guys are 
for the best students I ever taught. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to be your teacher. But I just got a quick little saying that I wrote down for you. Okay, behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who care for you. Within you, all you need. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life that you imagined. I want you to believe deep in your heart that you are capable of achieving anything and anything you put your mind to, you can achieve also. With this, you'll never lose. So thank you guys. Congratulations, you guys are high schoolers. Go Panthers. Hello 101 and congratulations on your graduation day. Um, I am so proud of you guys and it has been an honor to be your teacher for the last three years. Um, during this time I'm, I'm brought back to um, some memories that we formed in the beginning of the year. I remember uh, Jonathan Rodriguez said that he felt that each person in our homeroom was specially picked out um, to be in 101. And I, to this day, think that is true. Each of you have such um, a special, um, a specialness that you bring to the room. Um, each of you are so kind to each other, thoughtful for each other. 101, you already know we are top of the top of the top of the top. And people have been talking about um, how well you guys work together, how um, awesome you guys are during lessons, um, with substitutes. Any teacher that you meet always has good things to say about you. Um, I am so proud um, of, the, of the people that you have grown to be. And um, I really will miss you a lot. Um, I don't think I'll get as lucky having such a good group ever again um, in my life of teaching, but um, I hope you are well. I hope you carry that um, beauty and that kindness and that love and that care um, and that thoughtfulness with you forever in life. Nobody can take that away from you. Um, I want you to be positive. I want you to be joyful. Um, I want you to be helpful. Um, and I want you to care about people, um, regardless of, of how high of education you get, um, or how many awards you get, um, really, um, the most important thing is, is how you treat other people and, um, how, how much you are there for others and, and help others. And you guys have already done such a spectacular job already. Um, you have taught me a lot, um, how to really be there for other people as well. I love you guys, I am going to miss you guys, and I will probably cry um, when I think about you guys. I hope you come visit, and um, I love you. Have a happy graduation day. Trophies 
Summer loyal soldiers while these other thorns are rosy And if you never know who you can trust Then trust me you'll be lonely Oh, Are you ready for the sequel? Ain't ready for the latest In the garden of the Hello graduates of 102, family and friends. We're so honored to celebrate with you today as we just talk for a few minutes about the wonderful and magical journey that we've had with you guys. 102 has become a family. They support each other, they help each other, and we're a room where everybody lava each other. Nicely done. Over the past three years, we've seen you grow um, from wonderful kind of children who used to draw us pictures to these amazing artists, writers, poets, scholars, arguers, thinkers, and explorers. Um, and we're so proud of the way we've seen you grow. We're proud of that you have really hopefully bought into the idea that there is no limitation, and I can say this for sure, there is no limit to the life that you can have because of all of the ways that we've seen you trust yourself and grow into who you are. And if you ever doubt yourself, look back at these three years and all that you've accomplished and all the growth that we've seen in you and know that you can do anything. It has been such an honor uh, to be your teachers for the past three years, to watch this growth, to get to know your families, um, just know that as you move on, what we hope that you remember, that you are capable of anything, that you have a community that loves you, that once a panther, always a panther, and that we love you. Thank you, and happy graduation to 102.
honor and pleasure of introducing the students of room 103 and the class of 2021. Tengo el gran honor y placer de presentar la sala 103. Este año he aprendido más de estos estudiantes que nunca. And I've learned more from these students this year from you all than I ever have before. He aprendido a ser el mejor miembro de una comunidad, maestro, aprendiz, amigo y persona de vida a lo que experimente con las um, estudiantes, los estudiantes de 103. Right? I'm a better member of community, a friend, advocate, person, because of what I have learned in 103, definitely a better teacher. Todos ustedes se han levantado unos a otros, han ofrecido sabiduría, eh, sabiduría y apoyo cuando han sido necesario. Y eh, también han tenido bondad y consideración todos los días. Gracias de nuevo, es un honor ser tu maestro cada día. Eh, es la verdad de todos sus maestros y estudiantes en el próximo año eh, son muy, muy afortunados. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of Call to help our friends in need You can count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah Ooh. And you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, Find out what we're made of I'll call to help our friends in need You can count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah Obviously, sorry, I said just that. Um, I just want to come on here real quick and say congratulations. Um, you guys have worked hard the last however many years you've been in school. Some of you longer than others, some of you shorter. Um, 
this is a very exciting time for you guys as you transition to high school. So please make sure that you guys are being responsible in high school. Um, please make sure that you guys are being um, the students that we know you guys can be. And always try to be the best that you can be. Um, I've known you guys since you guys were pretty much in sixth grade, seventh grade. So being able to see all of you guys grow up is a privilege. It is an honor for myself. And I could not be happier with having met every, each and every single one of you. Um, always remember that if you guys need anything, we will always be here to help you out. Uh, we're not going anywhere. So feel free to come back, visit us. You know me, I'm usually here hanging around somewhere. <laughs> so I just want to wish you guys the best of luck wherever you, this journey may take you. Um, and like I said, please, please, please always come back and visit. It'd be nice to see you guys later on. Other than that, have a good one, be safe, and I wish you the best success with whatever you guys do. So it's been so amazing seeing you all grow and develop these past three years. I can't believe how quickly time has gone by. I've watched you all come in as kids and blossom into smart and curious young adults. Even though it's been hard this past year with our new normal, you guys have risen to the occasion and gotten through to the other side. Your teachers all recognize how strong and mature you have all had to be, and we celebrate each of you. Good luck in high school. I know you will all do great things. To the graduating class of room 104, today is a special day for you and your families. I have been your science and social studies teacher for three years. During these three years, I've been, I've seen you mature into warm, kind, loving students that have the power to create, that have the power to change things that are around you. We have cried together. We have laughed together. We have shared many memories together. For example, hit the corner. How dare you make me say, how dare you? Seriously? And of course, oops on you, oops, chilly willy. To my chilly willies. Chilly willy, chilly willy. Who's gonna be my chilly willy? To my chilly willies, I now sing to you. Twinkle, twinkle, shining stars like a diamond in the sky. You all are shining stars. You are, your twinkle is so bright that when you get to high school, everyone is gonna know that you all are the stars. To my students, congratulations on your well-deserved success. I now introduce the graduating class to the world, to Northwest Middle School, to your families, to your friends. I introduce to you the graduating class of room 104. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life
predictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life. Uh, first of all, I just want to say that I feel so lucky to have had the privilege of being your homeroom teacher for the past two years. From the very first day we met, I could tell you guys were such a great group of students. Thank you for welcoming me into your lives because it has been so much fun watching you learn and grow into caring, curious, and creative young people who are more than ready to take on high school. You all have overcome incredible obstacles brought on by such major moments in history these past couple of years, that flexibility and resilience in your spirit will take you far. I'm so excited for your next chapter and wish you all the best, always. Gracias por compartir tantos lindos momentos conmigo. Les voy a echar de menos. Les deseo lo mejor en todo. Echenle ganas y aprovechen las oportunidades que les presenta la vida. Felicidades 105, keep making us, but more importantly, yourselves, proud. And now, the graduates of Room 105. Slow down, these memories are playing like a film without sound and I 
Good morning, everyone. Class of 2021, this is your math teacher, Ms. Faraj, with a little words for you to carry on as you plan for the future. I'm going to start with one basic word, and that is be, B-E. Be who you are, who you have been. Be who you think you will be. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be an advocate. Be the best that you could possibly be. And do not, do not allow anyone to take that away from you. You have worked so hard these past few years. I have to say, I have never met a group of students that have been so dedicated and so vocal for their learning, for themselves, for who they want to be. So as I prepare you now for high school, and I, as I have prepared you for being a lifelong learner, take everything that you have learned and reflect on what you still need to learn and carry that with you as you move forward through your journey, through your success. You look back at these days, and remember everything that has been taught to you, not only math skills, but life skills. I was honored to be your teacher these past few years. I look forward to seeing what you will become and always stay true to who you are. I would now like to present room 106 as the class of 2021. Good luck in all your endeavors. And I'm not going to say bye, but see you soon. Thank you and enjoy this beautiful day. May you have auspiciousness and causes of success. May you have the confidence to always do your best. May you take no effort in your being generous. Sharing what you can, nothing more, nothing less. May you know the meaning of the word happiness. May you always lead from the beating in your chest. May you be treated like an esteemed guest. May you get to rest, may you catch your breath. Or may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows. Whoa! Or may the road less paved be the road that you follow oh. Well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break Here's to the lives that you're gonna change Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you I want you to have it Here's to the good times we gonna have You don't need money, you got a free pass Here's to the fact that I'd be sad without you you to have it all oh, I want you to have it all I want you to have it all I want you to have it all May you be as fascinating as a slap bracelet May you keep the chaos and the clutter off your desk May you have unquestionable health and less stress Having no possessions, no immeasurable wealth May you get a gold star on your next test May your educated guesses always be correct And may you win prizes shining like diamonds May you really own it each moment to the next or May the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows Whoa. Or may the road less paved be the road that you follow well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break Here's to the lives that you're gonna change Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you I want you to have it Here's to the good times we're gonna have You don't need money, you got a free pass Here's to the fact that I'll be sad without you I want you to have it all Congratulations, 203. The tassel was worth the hassle. Felicidades, clase 203. Estoy muy felices por ustedes. So happy for you. I wish you the best, the warmest wishes, guys. Happy, send you all my love, hugs, virtual hugs. Felicidades. 203, you did it. It's been one long ride. 
Um, I loved having you guys last year. Too bad we couldn't finish it off this year, but I'm so proud of you. You're going to do amazing things. High school is going to be another great adventure for all of you. Two or three, I have known you for a little time of the year, but you have done a great job. You have accomplished a major step that you should be proud of. You're gonna go a long way. Good luck. Best wishes to you and your family. Congratulations, that's class of 2021. Wepa! Salón 203, felicidades. Recuerden que el éxito no se mide por lo que logras, sino por los obstáculos que vences, ¿ok? Muchas felicidades y a todos los graduandos, felicidades. Alright, and 203, thanks for being the best homeroom I could have ever had as a first year. Um, I'm going to miss all of you and miss you. Um, but best of luck in high school. You're going to do great things. Don't forget anything. Don't forget. Um, don't overthink it. Remember, I always tell you that you're so much smarter than you think you are. Um, so don't overthink any of your skills. You're going to do amazing. Um, ustedes son muy inteligentes. Les va a ir muy bien en la high school. Mucha suerte. Los voy a extrañar. Pero yo sé que van a hacer muchas cosas, grandes cosas, ¿ok? We love you too, Audrey. the pain 